I wanted to speak on the resignation of the current election administrator. Um, I do agree that she needs to resign. I am not happy about the delay in the resignation because State Representative 147 is under my super neighborhood. I've been living over there most of my life. And with what I saw in the March election, I am not comfortable about the special election, which is first, or the runoff, or the runoff for the special election if there has to be one. But I understand you all have already made your decision, but I want it to be a final decision. I don't want a proviso. I don't want a prid quo quo. She gone. Okay, if there's anything in her letter that in any way conveys a message that she can return to this position, that's going to be a problem. Because the thing that you all either don't care or are unconcerned about is public confidence in the election process. I was raised with that. You don't vote just for the heck of voting. You vote because you believe it matters. But when you feel that it doesn't matter or that confidence is betrayed, it puts you in a very vicarious situation. And with so many people disenfranchised, not just because of the voting, but COVID and the things that are going on in life, this is a process that our country is based on. So they should not be removed or marginalized from democracy. And based on the performance of the person who's in that position right now, many people are very, very disheartened and very concerned. So I want to make it clear. She needs to, you all need to accept her resignation, but as a final, not as a we'll call you back later on. It needs to be over. Thank you. Alan Vera, Chairman Harris County Republican Party Ballot Security Committee. Quote, the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over again and expecting different results. End quote. We've seen this quote attributed to many famous figures like Benjamin Franklin, Albert Einstein, and Mark Twain. But the fact is, while we're not sure who first said it, this phrase has been proven true over and over again in business, education, and even government. And it has direct relevance for today's meeting of this commission. In comparing the election administrator's job description from the 2020 commission search to the proposed job description before this commission, the only tangible changes in the qualification section are the number of years experience required. While that's good, most of what's been carried over from the 2020 document to the current one are unquantifiable expressions of preferred behavior. For example, should be able to get along with the county chairs of both parties. Well, if we again define the job qualifications in such intangible behavior preferences, we run the risk of ending up with the same results. We need more focus on the proven skill sets needed to do the job. I've given you a handout of possible modifications to the qualification section of the job description. And while I'm not suggesting you adopt every word in the handout, I'm begging you to beef up the qualification section of the job description document with more tangible performance-based factors, which can be verified through the records of and references for the applicants. By statute, this is not a political position. It's not a public relations position. It is a highly technical position demanding very specific skill sets. Please adjust the qualification section of the job description accordingly. Again, on March 1st, March 1st of this year, Harris County, Texas replaced Broward County, Florida as the election laughingstock of the country. Two and a half million registered voters are counting on the five of you to not let that happen again.